Hello and welcome to this introduction video to Material Master. In this quick tutorial, we're gonna look at how to install Material Master in Blender, how to create our first material, and we will also create our custom thumbnail and add it to the material library. Let's get started. When you download Material Master, you will find a zip folder. So the first thing that we wanna do is to extract the files, open the folder, and we will see the thumbnails folder the material library, the add-on, and the thumbnail generator. So let's start by installing the add-on into Blender. So let's open Blender, and then we go to Edit, Preferences, Install, and then from the main folder, we're gonna select the Material Master add-on. We we'll click on the check mark to activate the add-on. At this point, we need to link the library and the thumbnails. So we can do so by clicking on the uh, folder icon, and then from the main folder, select the material library. Same thing for the thumbnails, main folder and thumbnails. Double click on the folder. Uh, there is nothing to click here, just accept. At this point, we have the two main path already linked and we can save preferences. As you can see, we have the material master tab here. We don't see any preview because we have to refresh with this button. And at this point, we have all the presets appearing. Now we are actually ready to apply a material. Let's try it out. So we go in render mode. I'm gonna select cycles and selecting one of those materials from the library, apply, and we already have the material ready. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can select the material from the presets, or we can select the material from this menu where we have the details name of every material uh, divided in uh, scientific categories. So we have the dielectrics, the gems, liquid and glass, metals, and some specials. Let's go with the special and apply the material. The cool thing about Material Master is that it automatically replaces the material in the slot. It doesn't add the material to the uh, object slot. Uh, it simply uh, replaces it. It is pretty handy uh, so that we don't have to uh, select uh, the material and delete the other ones just to apply it. It's pretty cool and pretty fast. Uh, let's try another one, apply the material. So uh, it's very important to remember that when you add a new object, let's, let's delete this cube and add a monkey. So when you have a new object, uh, it basically has no material. So for Material Master, it's important to add a material first and then apply the material. At this point, uh, we can have the material applied. And here is another example. Let's give some light to this word. Okay, we have covered the basics of how to apply the material. At this point, we want to know how to edit this material. Well, it's pretty simple. You go to the material and you already have the main controls of the material that we have applied. Uh, as you can see, I can quickly change uh, the scale of this uh, procedural uh, node that I have here. Um, each material has its own textures and bumps and the parameters that we can that we can change as you can see i can quickly go here and change the veins color the, the tiles color and you know quickly really uh, go in and change whatever i want in this material uh, if you want to go deeper you can open the uh, shader editor here and you will see that uh, it has a pretty uh, simple node and we can go deep and try to achieve whatever whatever we want really. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Uh, those are all custom nodes with a lot of work inside. So uh, the guys at 3 Dimension really simplified our life, making these nodes uh, very intuitive. Um, we're gonna look at how to create the material uh, from scratch uh, like in a second, but just wanted to uh, recap a little bit. So applying a material, it's pretty simple. You just select one from the thumbnails or from the menu and then uh, we can apply the material. We can edit the main parameters here. 
uh, from the material tab or go deep into the matter and then going into the node editor to do whatever we want with this material. At this point, let's see how we can create a, a material from scratch, from zero, from nothing, and then save this material uh, that we have created here in the library and also add our own personal thumbnail. So Material Master is actually a collection of custom nodes. Uh, and here we have some presets that only have some of the nodes. If we want to access uh, the entire collection of the nodes and create our own personal material, we have to select the init um, file, which is init material master. Apply this material and as you can see, we have the whole collection of nodes down here. Uh, at this point, we can create whatever we want and it's pretty simple. Uh, to do so, I'm going to split my view in two close the tab and go into the node editor. Okay, now we're gonna create our personal unique material. Um, I'm gonna just go creative here. And as you can see, we have a dielectric uh, principal shader already connected and we wanna add some, let's say cracks. I just connect this node here and I can have cracks and edit them as I want. I can also uh, change the color of the cracks and let's make them dark okay if i want to change the main color of the object i can uh, select it from here let's make it like dark and then make the cracks uh, white uh, if i want to add corrosion i just simply connect this here and in the output and then i have corrosion if i just want to look at the corrosion as usual i select the node press m on the keyboard and i have just the corrosion. Uh, this is the color of the corrosion that I can change. As you can see, it's pretty fast and quick because those uh, custom nodes are built to make our life easier. So here's the control. Then I can I mute the cracks and I have the cracks and the corrosion. If I wanna add uh, some grunge, I can select it. Uh, actually, I think I can put this here and I have also the grunge, change the color to something Cool. You know, I'm just uh, going randomly here, uh, selecting some of the parameters and then the grunge amount. Okay. Um, if we want to also uh, get the displacement of the cracks, I just select the displacement socket and then connect it here. Let's see the effect of the cracks with the displacement. As you can see, I'm creating the cracks and I have control over the main parameters. Okay, let's unmute those guys here and let's see what else we can do. Uh, so we have, um, let's say, oh, the scratches. Okay, let's get the scratches node and let's connect the BAMP map into the BAMP map. And now I have the scratches. Let's see the effect of those scratches. Let's mute all those guys. And here I have the scratches. Uh, I can also edit them. The scratches amount, density, the scale. There we go. I'm editing randomly here. Okay, uh, let's also change the main color of the, of the monkey. Let's go for something creative. And then let's unmute all those nodes. Okay, I have a material, not really happy with this color here. Let's let's choose something more <laughs> evident. All right, something like that. Okay, I have created my material here. Um, I want to save this material now so that I can, instead of init master uh, material, I can call it my material 001. Okay, so it's very important to give it a name. At this point, we have uh, a complete material and we have a name. At this point, we can uh, save this blend file. Uh, it's really important because we want to include this material into this blend file and we can start the process of saving this material into our main library. 
So let's save this blend file. My material 001 and we save the blend file. At this point we can close the blend file, open the material library. Once we open the material library, we can now append the material that we have just created. Okay, we have it here, my material 001. We go to material and then we have my material 001. Okay, now we have it uh, in this blend file. We just wanna create a new material and then search for my material 001. And now this material is inside the library. We just wanna save this file. So we are actually saving the material library of Material Master and copy this name. Now we have this name copied. Uh, we can close, save and close. Now the material has been saved into the material library. Now we want to create the thumbnail. So we open the thumbnail generator. So this is an empty uh, blend file with no materials. We want to append the material here as well so that we can create our custom thumbnail. So we go to file, append from uh, material library. We select the material that we called my material. Should be somewhere here. There you go, my material 001. And then we give a new material to this thumbnail here. At this point, uh, if we go in render mode, we can see that this uh, object, this sampler, has the material that we have just created, my material 001. Uh, we can start rendering and obtain our personal thumbnail. Now that we have our custom thumbnail rendered, we can save it as an image and give the name of the material. It's really important to give the exact name of the material with all the spaces and uh, capital letters and everything. Otherwise, uh, the add-on will not recognize this thumbnail and will not be able to associate it with the actual material. We're gonna save this my material uh, underscore 001 into the thumbnails and save the image. At this point, we are done. We can open Blender, go to Material Master and hit the refresh button. And we will see our material uh, in the collection. There we go. It's the my material 001. Uh, we can go in render mode and in cycles or EV doesn't matter. And apply our new material to the cube. This is the one that we have created with the monkey. We saved it into the library. We have our uh, thumbnail exactly like the other ones generated. And we can also find it here into. Uh, somewhere here, my material 001. My suggestion is to name them with uh, a name that makes sense. Also helps you uh, divide your personal materials from the presets. So you can call it my material 001 or call it dielectric, my material, whatever you want is up to you. It's actually your workflow and it's your decision how you wanna keep uh, your material in order. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this useful and that you will enjoy Material Master and that it will speed up your workflow. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.